Hello everybody and thank you for joining me today. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you several products that I'm going to create a simple yet full face look and some of these products are new and some of the products are products that I have had for a while and dearly love. So um, let's get started. The first product I'm using today is my Philosophy Ultimate Miracle Worker and this is the Multi Rejuvenating Cream in Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So it comes in a container like this with a black cap. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get that all over my face as my moisturizer for today. This has a creamy texture, kind of a gel cream texture. It has a nice light, fresh scent. It feels nice applied. I always like a moisturizer that has a SPF in it just in case a lot of times the foundations that I wear will not have that so that's nice to have that added protection all over the face and then the next product that I will be using is my eye moisturizer and that's my Olay 7-in-1 eye transforming cream comes in a little jar with a black cap and I'm just gonna pat that under my eye Get everything nicely moisturized. My eye area always feels so dry in the mornings, so it's imperative that I get it nicely moisturized for all the rest of the products that I'll be putting on my face. I'm gonna be sharing a simple eyeshadow look with a eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild that's been around for quite some time now. It's an amazing product and has really stood the test of time. So now that I've got my face nicely moisturized, I'm going to go in with a new product that I'm excited to try today. It's by Pixie and it's their Skin Treats Rose Flash Balm. And let me just see if I can get the lighting right here. Um, this is an instant skin booster. This is actually a three-in-one moisturizer, primer, and a mask. So this hydrating radiance boosting balm is the ultimate solution for waking up lackluster fatigue skin in a flash. And this is for all skin types. You can use it AM or PM as a moisturizer, primer, or mask. It suggests that if you are gonna use it as a primer to just apply a thin layer. And I purchased this at Target. So I'm just going to Get a little bit of that. It has a like a light pink tone to it. It has a light, um, almost rosy smell to it, which I like. I love rose scented smells. They just, they smell so good. Yeah, I like the smell to this. It smells kind of like a freshly picked rose. So I'm just gonna get a light layer of that on my skin to use as my primer today before I go ahead and go in with my foundation. Okay, so then the next product that I'm using is a product that I've had for a while. This is the Nuance Flawless Finish Liquid Foundation with Skin Adapting Technology by Salma Hayek. Um, I found this, I think, last year at a CVS store here in town. Um, this minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines while delivering a radiant glow. And it does have a pump, which I, I can definitely appreciate. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of that pumped out on my hand here. And then I'm gonna be going in with my It Cut, or I'm sorry, my Sigma. Today I'm using my Sigma Flat Angled Kabuki F88 brush. And this has got a nice angle to it, dense bristles. I love the It Cosmetics brushes too for applying foundation. And these Sigma brushes are amazing highly recommend the Sigma brushes. If you're just starting out with makeup application and you want a nice brush that's gonna provide you some flawless coverage, the F80, the F88 are excellent as well as several of their eye, eye brushes. And the nice thing about Sigma is that they, um, they have a lot of kits and sometimes they will run sales and deals so you can get like a whole foundation brush kit or you can get a eye brush kit which I think is really cool. 
just gonna get some more of this. This is, I would say, a light to medium coverage foundation, so I am building up the coverage a little bit here just to get to the shade range that I would like. This definitely has a glowy finish. And as you know, I just love a glowy or a dewy foundation. I think that it looks beautiful on the skin as long as you set it with a powder and make sure that it, you know, is blended in nicely. It looks really nice on the skin. I just love to feel like I'm fresh and glowy. That looks really nice. So now that I've got that all blended in, um, I'm gonna go in with a powder to set this foundation. I think today, um, let me see what powders I have here. I have several different options. I'm gonna go in with my Catrice Prime and Fine Luminizing Powder. This is the waterproof version and it's in Radiant Beige. It has a really nice um, tone to it. And I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques Powder Brush. Just gonna swirl that in there and tap this into my face to set this glowy foundation. I think this powder would be nice in the summertime as well because of the fact that it is waterproof. So if you were like out swimming or something, it could definitely help the lasting power of a full coverage foundation. I have several full coverage foundations that I love. I have drugstore and high-end ones that I love, but I rotate daily because I like to try different products, different new foundations, so I'm always, always pulling things out of my drawer to try to use them up and as well as, you know, trying the new things that come out. Love trying new foundations, new blushes, new lipsticks. That's just so much fun. And so the next product that I'm gonna be applying in this look is a Milani Baked Blush, and this is a number 13, it's the Rosa Romantica Baked Powder Blush, and these are gorgeous blushes. Um, I, I absolutely love all of the colors. This entire line is beautiful. This is a newer shade that I picked up. It's kind of a light um, peachy. It's like a light peach with some kind of champagne sparkle in it. And so I'm gonna go in with my Flower Beauty Brush Blush. Just get that right here on my cheeks. I thought this would look nice since I'm wearing a rosy flower shirt today. Get some shiny rosy toned blush on my cheeks. These blushes are gorgeous. They have a little bit of sheen to them, a lot of shine, and they just really make your cheeks glow and pop with color. This entire line is gorgeous. Um, I've been able to find this at Walmart. My Walmart sells Milani as well as um, on their website but that just gives a really nice glow to the cheeks and then um, I'm also today going to add a highlighter and this is one of my favorite highlighters this is the Becca shimmering skin perfector and this is in the shade opal and I love this one because it has the cap that you take off and then it has a pump and so I like to just pump a little bit of that as you can tell it has this pump I just like to get a little bit of that on my finger and then I'm gonna dab it right here on the top of my cheekbone. And do the same for the other side and then we're gonna blend it all in on the top. Take a little bit up here since I have some extra. So this is an amazing highlighter. Um, she also has pressed powder highlighters that are gorgeous in the Becca line. But I definitely love a good highlight. So for the highlight I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush absolutely love this brush for blending and getting the highlight exactly where you want it. And you see how that just gives that blush. The blush is already glowy, but this just adds more of a glow. And I, I really love glow. I think it just gives you that fresh, youthful appearance. Really makes your skin pop nicely. Just making sure to get that all blended in and I just love to leave it that way. I love that extra dewy glow that it gives my skin. 
Okay, so then now um, there is a product that I wanted to try today um, for my brows. This is a this is called Unbelieve a Brow, and it's by L'Oreal, and it actually has a like a doe foot applicator, and this is in the shade light brunette. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that on and just kind of see how this looks on my eyebrows. Um, normally I would use my Milani Easy Brow Automatic Eye Pencil, but I wanted to try a little bit different technique today. Um, and that's pretty nice. I actually kind of like that too. It um, This is a different way that I'm not not as familiar with. I have never tried one like this, but I'm actually kind of liking that a lot. Since I have such light colored brows, I have to basically draw on a brow, and I like to have deeper, darker brows, but this is really cool. I'm liking this. It just has like a regular doe foot applicator that you would use to apply lip gloss or a liquid lipstick, and this is really nice. This is in light brunette, and I like that. So if you you know if you're wanting, if you don't have much eyebrow hair like I don't, and you're wanting something to kind of deepen up the color, this is a good option. It comes in a in a tube, and and I really like it. That was my first time using it, but I would say for first impressions, it's good. So I will continue to use that and see um, exactly how it works. Um, next. I do want to go in with a concealer, and I think today I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. This is the full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer in 13 Light Natural. This is a little squeezy tube, and what I like to do is just get a little bit squeezed out, and then I just kind of let it warm up in my finger right underneath my eye. And then I'm going to go in on the other side and do the same thing. Just to kind of conceal these dark circles. Add a little bit there, and then I'm going to blend it back in. This is best for under eye because it is very thick. It's very creamy, so I would recommend only using that on um, your under eye. But there are definitely other concealers that work great for other places. So I'm gonna go back in with my Bare Minerals, Bare Skin. This is the Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. And I'm gonna use that just to conceal around the nose. I like the texture of this concealer. It's thin, but it has really good coverage and pretty good staying power as well. So now let me get a dense brush over here. I think actually I'm going to use my Echo Tools Ultimate Cover Brush. This is so nice because it's extremely densely packed bristles and I think it just blends concealer in beautifully. So if you're looking for a good concealer brush, I'd recommend checking this out at Ulta or Walmart. I just love, it comes in a three pack and I just absolutely love these brushes because they're so densely packed that they really conceal everything beautifully. You can really get the fullest coverage, which is nice, especially with something like the IT Cosmetics, which really is um, potent. So that's definitely a high, highly recommended brush. These, these brushes are so amazing. So then the next um, product that I'm gonna use is we're going to go in with the eyeshadow look that I was explaining, and I'm going to use a primer today. It's the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer. I just have this little tube of it. Um, I think this came with a eyeshadow palette that I had bought back in the day. So I'm just going to get this all over the lid. Make sure to go all the way up to the brow bone. Um, my other favorite primers are the Milani, the Milani eyeshadow primer that you can get at the drugstore for like five or six dollars is amazing. And then Ulta also has a really nice full coverage primer that I think is like twelve dollars, and I really like that too. I mean, primers are primers. There's not a whole lot of difference. Some of them do feel 
Um, like I think this one feels a little more thinner. I like the Milani because it, it feels really tacky. Has a little bit of tackiness without feeling too tacky, which is nice. And then for today's look, it's going to be simple, but I am going to use my Wet n Wild Sweetest Candy Eyeshadow Quad, and I have had this for quite some time. Um, this is actually a recent purchase. I repurchased it, but I used to have this, you know, several years ago, and it's just a simple quad. You can um, find this at Walgreens. Um, sometimes Walmart will have them, but they, it's beautiful. It's just a simple look, but it looks really nice on the lid. So I'm going to start out by... Um, doing the eyelid and I think today I'm going to use my elf contour no I'm not going to use my contour brush let me use a different brush because I want a flat shader brush just digging over here to see okay I'm going to use my I think this came in a yeah this is a flat shader brush that came in a BH cosmetics kit and I'm just going to go ahead and dip into the eyelid shade here this light pink and start patting that down onto the eyelid. I want this all over my eyelid. Wet n Wild has some really inexpensive but yet good quality palettes and I appreciate that. It's nice to have something that you can make a quick look with, simple look, but still be satisfied with the outcome. Just want to get this all over the lid. It's a beautiful pink. Gorgeous pink shade, light pink shade. Looks like spring, which I'm so ready for. We're supposed to be getting some warmer weather this weekend. It's been really windy. Yesterday and today, we've had like 25 to 45 mile per hour wind gusts, which is crazy. And it's been you have to hang on to everything if you go outside, so looking forward to some calmer winds and some warmer temperatures. Because I want to get outside and start walking around the block and not be cooped in. Okay, so I've got the lid done. Now I'm going to go in with the crease, and I'm going to use the technique that I use for um, hooded eyes. I, I got this idea thanks to my two beautiful sisters and they showed me this and I just love it. So um, I'm, I'm gonna go in with the crease shade, which is down here on the bottom. I just tap in with a pointed brush. This is my Morphe M506 brush. And what I do is I just open my eye so that it's full on, and then I put a dot right here. So I'm gonna look in my mirror, I'm gonna put a dot right above my pupil. And then I'm gonna go in with that same crease shade and put a dot kind of out here in the outer corner. You got a dot right above your pupil and then you just take a, a blending brush and you swish them together. So this is my Sigma E40 tapered blending and I love this brush. I'm just going to take those two shades and start blending, blending it in to the eye. And you just use that back and forth like windshield wiper swish 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 motion. to fuse everything together. I may go back in with some more. I may go back in with some more of that color just to kind of deepen things up. Now I'm gonna go over to my other lid and do the same thing. Put a dot right there. And then put a dot right here. And then do the same thing and then the nice thing about this technique too is if you don't get enough color you can always go back in and blend or add additional color but this just helps especially if you have hooded eyes it helps to kind of create that crease and give you some definition um, because when my eyes are open it's hard to see a crease especially if my eyes are all the way open they tend to as you can tell, it kind of just, the crease kind of goes away, so I have to like make a crease and go higher than just putting it right there, because then when, if I put it down here, it just kind of blends into the eyelid, and you don't see as much color when you're, when you got hooded eyes, so this is pretty cool. I think I am going to go back in and just add 
a little bit more definition right in here. This is such a simple eye quad, but it's nice. And then another thing you can do that I like to do is you go down like a backward seven. So you pull the color down like this on the sides to create that outer crease. And then we're gonna go back in with this brush and just blend everything out. So as you can tell, I'm just blending the down, the up, upside down seven. And then that way when my eyes are open, it looks like I have a crease. And I'm just loving that technique. I think it's so awesome. I'm so thankful my sister shared that with me. Thank you, sisters. Appreciate that. It's definitely helping with hooded eyes. Definitely. So that's one of the things that I'd always struggled with is, you know, when my eyes are open, how do I get it to look like I actually have a crease? I'm also going to go in with this brow bone shade and just put some of that right underneath my brow just to lighten things up just a little bit there. And then there's also a transition shade. So I'm going to go back in with my tapered blending brush and just kind of add some more to deepen. And that's the nice thing about these shades or any shade. You can always start out, I like to start out with a little bit of color and then deepen as I go. And that way you don't have too much color. Because sometimes, especially if it's not shadows that you're, you've been working with a lot, you can end up just getting too much color and then the the eye look is darker than you'd really like it to be. So you can always start out with a little and then amp up the color as you go. And that way you don't have too much on too much shadow and not like the look, the finished look in the end. So I really enjoy this technique. I think it makes a nice technique. Okay, so that's the overall look with the sweetest candy eyeshadow and then I am going to go in also with a mascara and today I'm going to use a new one it's by Wet n Wild also it's the Mega Length Mascara and this is one that was um, that I recently found out about it came out with some of their primer waters and some of their other um, it has a nice brush on it. it it does look like it has a lot of separation so I'm just going to go ahead and get that on my lashes I like the, the brushes like this that separate because that does help my lashes. They want to sometimes clump together. So it's nice to have a brush that has those separating bristles. And you can really feel the separation on this, which is nice. This is an inexpensive mascara and so far I think it's doing a really good job of separating the lashes and even providing some length. So again, if you're just looking for a mascara to just kind of put on and, you know, get out the door, this would be a simple one. I like the brush on this. I think this was like $4.99, and I did find this at Walmart, and you can also find this at wetandwild.com. Um, I like to browse websites and see what the new products are. I usually go to Ulta's site and do the new arrivals, but then sometimes I'll go to the actual brand's website and look at their new arrivals because they're always bringing new stuff out too, and so that's how you can keep up with what's new. I'm just going to get the outer corner here. There's always so much new products coming out though, it's definitely hard to keep up with at times. And certain things just really intrigue me, and I'm like, oh, I gotta order that and try it. I gotta try it. Especially if it's like a blush or a foundation, lipstick, those are my favorite things to try. Because I love a good, especially good drugstore foundation that's full coverage and just looks gorgeous on the skin. I love that. I don't think there's going to be one 
They can top the infallible. The new L'Oreal infallible Freshwear 24 hour one is so good. It has such great staying power. It's, I would highly recommend it. Um, I've, I've been loving that one. And so the very last product that I'm going to put on today is a lip product. And today I'm going to be using the, um, this is by Jouer, Jouer Lip Cream, and this is in Rose. And this is um, really beautiful packaging. Comes in like a clear container, and then it has a twist-off cap here. So I am going to get that on my lips. And the thing I love about these is that they are super shiny. So it's kind of like a it's basically like a liquid lipstick. With a lot of metallic shine to it. So I think it's gorgeous. I love it. This has a beautiful texture. It feels very thin on the lips, which I like. This looks gorgeous. So there we have it. And yes, this is a beautiful, and I like several other um, lipsticks in this line as well that are really, really pretty. But this is one of my favorite shades, the Rose. And then there's one called Citronade Rose, which is absolutely gorgeous as well. So if you haven't checked out that line, they have some really pretty liquid lipsticks. They have some gorgeous lip glosses as well and some amazing lip toppers. So that's the finished look to y'all. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will click the thumbs up if you like this and subscribe to tune into more videos that I will be posting very soon. And I just want to thank you for being with me today. I appreciate the time that you've spent watching this video and I hope that you have an amazing day. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.